Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Malconic E65 Grind by Weight, or GBW. The E65 GBW, like its name states, of course, is a grind by weight grinder. And what that means is you program your espresso dose based on weight instead of the traditional way, which would be by time. I'm going to present the features of this grinder, and then I'm going to run some tests. We'll see if uh, the scale on the E65 GBW matches a, another scale to see if the dosing is actually correct and accurate. And finally, I'm going to pull a shot so we can see this amazing grinder in action. Okay, so in front of me I have uh, two grinders. One is in uh, white and one is black, and that's of course the two colors that this grinder is available in. And let's do a rundown of some of the features. You'll notice that the hopper is quite large. This is, of course, a commercial grinder. Uh, it comes standard with a 1.2 kilogram hopper. There is a small 300 gram hopper that is available as an optional accessory if you want to use this grinder for a smaller volumes or even inside your home, which some people do. Um, the hopper features uh, on the lid, you've got this little bag holder, so you can actually put your coffee bag inside here to remember what's inside there if you have multiple grinders in your cafe. Below the grinder we have the adjustment collar and this is where we dial in how fine our grind is. And of course a grinder of this caliber is going to have stepless adjustment and I really like Malconic's adjustment system. It moves very smoothly and it's very easy uh, to get uh, or to make fine adjustments and really get that espresso dialed in. Uh, higher numbers, so to the right of course is coarser and going left makes the grind finer. Now, whenever you're adjusting your grind finer, I do suggest having the burrs running. This grinder here, I actually have the, um, the sliding door closed on the hopper, so there's no coffee in the grind chamber uh, on this white one, which is why I'm able to do that. When you adjust the grind on the screen, you'll actually see where you're at. It's got a, uh, an indicator in uh, one one thousandth of a millimeter, uh, which are micrometers, as to how you're adjusting your grind. And that first number there, that orange number, is uh, what my recipe calls for. So you can actually program, um, and I'll show that in just a moment, you can program uh, the portafilter that you're using and then uh, the grind setting so you can easily go back and forth. Here it tells me that I should be at 70 micrometers. So I would adjust the grind finer, and if I go to 70, then it matches and that orange uh, uh, section goes away and we're ready to go. Also on the screen, and the screen is very easy to use, um, I have on this grinder, this is a new grinder, uh, single is at 12 grams, double is at 18, and the bottomless is actually programmed by time. So you can switch off the grind by weight mode and just use this like a traditional time grinder and you change those settings inside the menu. In order to enter the menu, you press the knob button two times, and here we're presented with the settings menu. The first and most important, the one that you're going to be using most often, is of course the edit recipes. Here we can set the different settings for our different portafilters, our single, double, and bottomless. Uh, we can also set the, uh, of course, the weight that each portafilter is set to. Uh, we can change it to time-based grinding if that's what we want, or manual grinding. Uh, it's, all, it's all quite simple, qu quite intuitive. So, for example, if I wanted to go into the single spell portafilter, I can allocate my portafilter. I can also set my grind setting, uh, which will display on that uh, particular icon, uh, so I can remember uh, what worked for my coffee, and uh, that's displayed on the main screen. Other options in the main menu, of course, are settings. And this is just things like portafilter management, and you can add a, a password to your settings, uh, different service settings, statistics, alerts and notifications that can let you know when to change your burrs, etc. Uh, I'm not going to cover that right now. You can also change your uh, weight setting right from the main menu. You don't have to go into the settings menu. And you do that by just pressing the bottom left button, and you, you can adjust your weight. Let's say I want to go to 18.5 grams. Uh, very easy and simple to do. The button up here is for manual grinding. Uh, again, I, I don't have any coffee in the grind chamber, so it just grinds uh, manually, uh, and you can hold that for as long as you like uh, if you want to add a little bit of coffee or for whatever reason. Below the screen, we have the chute, and the chute is removable on the grind by weight, just like in the E65S. You can pull this out in order to clean the grinder. Of course, if you're uh, doing any cleaning, please power the grinder down, remove the power cord. Safety is always very important. And lastly, below that, we have the portafilter forks. This is where your portafilter rests, and this is also where the scale is. So uh, it is a sensitive piece of equipment, of course, so treat it with care. 
You do want to adjust your portafilter uh, exactly, uh, sorry, you want to adjust your forks exactly to your portafilter uh, because it's important that it doesn't move and that it tears properly. That way you're going to get the best possible results. Now what I'd like to do is show you the accuracy of this grinder. So I have it set to 18 grams and I've got my portafilter right here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear my portafilter on this scale. So just tear that so it's zero. I'm going to grind my first dose. I'll just put the portafilter in, the grinder will start automatically and it'll stop at 18 grams. You can see the grind is just beautiful and it's 18 grams on the dot. Well, 18.1, just went a tiny bit over, but it's right in between there, extraordinarily accurate. Let's try it a couple more times. You can see 18 on the dot again. Try it a third time. And again, 18 grams. It's extraordinarily accurate. This is unbelievable. So that was an 18 gram dose. Uh, now, if I wanted to adjust the dose, let's say I want to go up a little bit. I'm going to go up by half a gram to 18.5. Setting is super easy. Put my portafilter in. And let's weigh the results. I've got 18.5 on the dot. That is remarkable. Uh, the point one of a gram, it actually just went up to 18.6, but again, it could be the stability of the scale. Uh, these are, point one of a gram is such a small amount. Um, the accuracy is, is great. And you can see the grind quality is also beautiful. Nice and fluffy, no clumping whatsoever. So now let's use this grinder for what it's meant for, and that's of course making delicious espresso. I'm just gonna change my uh, setting back to 18 grams because that's what I dialed this uh, machine. Uh, uh, I dialed this machine for 18 grams earlier, so I wanna leave it at that. And I just grind directly into my portafilter there. And I'm also gonna be using another Whitebird scale in order to weigh my results. I'm gonna be aiming for about a two to one ratio. Uh, so 36, uh, 36 grams of espresso coming out. Um, of course, there's a lot of discussion about ratios. It is based on personal preference. If you like your coffee a little stronger, uh, you'll go with a shorter ratio or, or what have you. Put my scale here, cup. I'm gonna turn it on so it tears. And then I'll begin my extraction. I'm using the Lamarzoco Limited Edition Linea Mini. This is, of course, the Florentine Green. Very beautiful machine. Uh, and, of course, it produces an incredible espresso. And that's 30, I went a little bit over, of course, with the extra drops. I'm 37.4 uh, grams, uh, but that espresso is looking uh, maybe a little bit over extracted, but still, still quite nice. The purpose of the E65 GBW is precision. And if you want consistent results, having a grinder that delivers the same weight of grind each and every time gives you one less variable to worry about. This grinder would do well in any high-end cafe, in a roastery, or even in a high-end consumer setup. Malconic truly earns its name as the king of grinders. If you have any questions about the E65 GBW or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We are here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about coffee grinders, coffee machines, espresso machines, everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.